Good evening, this is Luke Thomas Holmquist here at the Earthquake Forecast Center at quickprediction.com. It is 9.49 in the evening on Wednesday, October 6, 2021. 9.49 in the evening on Wednesday, October 6, 2021. And we're getting more strong signals out of uh, Southern California and looking for a strong, very strong earthquake in Southern California, most likely on the 8th, 7th or 8th, and we'll show you in a second here. And uh, let's take a look at that. So first of all, in Los Angeles, we have a, a strong peak coming up uh, tomorrow morning in the 7th, uh, October 7th in uh, Southern California in Los Angeles. And another peak on the 8th in the morning and then the 8th at night and the 9th in the morning there. So this uh, major earthquake is likely in Southern California on the 7th or 8th of October. And uh, let's look at the, uh, this quake here that happened on um, October 2nd. Actually, it was that UTC time. It's uh, Oct October 1st, late in the evening on October 1st. Uh, 3.7 hit right along the Garlock Fault. So... Uh, let me show you where the most likely spot for this quake, this major earthquake to happen. Uh, either close to Parkfield, Coalinga area. This small quake here, 1.5, could be a possible uh, foreshock. This one right here, uh, northwest of LA and northeast of Santa Barbara could be a foreshock. Because uh, the, the data and the variance level is highest in the Coalinga to Ridgecrest to Los Angeles area, that triangle. And also where that 3.6, 3.7 earthquake hit right along the Garlock Fault there, that's another possible location for this uh, quake to hit. And here's where that quake hit right there on uh, late on October 1st. So once again, major earthquake is likely in Southern California on the 7th or 8th. Let's look at the Coalinga forecast. We'll get to the Anchorage in just a second. Um, and that Peak uh, is on the 7th into the 8th in the morning. So tomorrow evening into the 8th in the morning. And the highest uh, variance level is in uh, Coalinga. The second highest is Ridgecrest and the third is uh, Los Angeles. So somewhere in that triangle, that area is where the quake should occur. Here's the uh, forecast risk graph out of uh, El Centro down the Salton Sea. And you can see there's a peak here on the 8th, but the risk just keeps building down there. We'll see when that peaks there. Eureka, California. We had a 3.3 on this peak, 3.7 on this one, 3.5 on this peak late in the 5th, into the 6th. And then here coming up on the 7th, we have 65% risk in Eureka, Northwest California. Uh, on that spike in risk and 72% uh, on the 8th into the 9th. All the action is uh, down here near Los Angeles, though, during the next uh, 48 hours or so. We have a strong, very strong spike in risk on the 7th in the morning and then on the 8th in the morning. So we're looking for a major earthquake in Southern California either, either on the 7th or 8th of October. All right, here's uh, the Ridgecrest uh, risk graph. We had a 2.9 on this peak here. 2.9 near Coachella, California, the Salton Sea on this one. And this is the uh, strong spike in risk on the 7th and the 8th in the morning and the 8th at night in Ridgecrest. In San Francisco, we also have a spike here on the evening of the 7th and then one here on the 9th. You can look at uh, quakeprediction.com to uh, see these forecasts here. Uh, we had a 3.4 on this peak here on the second and a 3.7 here on the fourth on this spike in risk. And in Athens, Greece, we have uh, pretty high risk down here near uh, Crete on the eighth into the ninth. ninth. And um, in Tokyo, we had a very high risk in far northern portion of Japan. And we had a uh, significant quake that occurred when that was, uh, the, the risk was maxing out, it was a 5.7 up here northeast of Morioka. 
Now the risk has shifted down here in the southern portion of Japan. And we just had a uh, 5.4 down here in southern Japan. In the next couple of days, it, this one's on the uh, October 8th. Now they're like 14 hours, 12 or 14 hours ahead of us in Japan. And this is a, a strong, very strong risk here in uh, the Tokyo area, Shizuoka and Tokyo. And it looks like a strong earthquake will hit there on the 8th or the 9th of October. And we'll check back on that. October 8th or 9th near Tokyo, very high risk there near Shizuoka and Tokyo on the 8th and 9th. All right, once again, in the Los Angeles area, uh, we the highest risk is in the Koalinga Parkfield area. And that risk extends down to uh, Ridgecrest and then Los Angeles. And in Los Angeles, the uh, we have a strong spike in risk on the 7th in the morning, and then in the 8th in the morning, and then in Koalinga, we have a spike in risk on the 7th at night and 8th in the morning, and Ridgecrest, we have a spike in risk on the uh, 7th and the 8th as well. So that area, and I'll outline that in a second here, go to that map. This is where that 3.7 occurred. I have a feeling it's going to be somewhere between, uh, let's zoom in here, in the Kolinga Parkfield area to uh, northwest of LA, and then up along this uh, Garlock Fault, somewhere in there, we're going to have a, a major earthquake during the next uh, few days. Most likely on the 7th or 8th, the highest risk is actually on the 8th of October but we should start getting some uh, action, maybe some uh, 2.5s and 3.0 earthquakes, maybe even a four uh, during the next 12 hours or so. And then uh, uh, some significant large earthquake uh, on the 7th or the 8th of October. So be prepared if you know, have friends or family that live in that area from Koalinga uh, down to Actually, there's very high risk up here near where this 3.7 occurred as well. So from southern San Francisco Bay down to northwest of LA, over to Ridgecrest, that area, that triangle area there, uh, a major earthquake is likely during the next uh, 48 hours or so, the 7th or 8th of October. And as we get some foreshocks, we'll be able to pinpoint better where we think this uh, earthquake is going to occur during the next 48 hours. So tomorrow, uh, tomorrow night's forecast, we might have some more information. If it hasn't occurred already, uh, it should most likely hold off to the 8th of October. However, uh, it could hit as early as the 7th. All right, thanks so much for your support here at quakeprediction.com. And uh, we will talk to you uh, very soon after this earthquake. We've been getting some strong signals for the last uh, week or so. And uh, the signals coming out of uh, Southern California um, during the last uh, 12 to 24 hours are the strongest signals that I have ever seen come out of uh, Southern California during the last uh, 16 years. So it uh, sh should be a very strong earthquake uh, northwest of LA, most likely on the Garlock Fault or near Koalinga Parkfield area during the next 48 hours, October 7th or October 8th. Thank you so much again for your support and we will talk to you soon. Stay safe and we'll see you tomorrow.